Hey, what's up Wix Nation? Welcome back to another video here on the Wix Training Academy channel. My name is Sarah Michaels and I will be your hostess for today's video where I will be showing you how to activate your Wix SEO wizard and specifically how to add the keywords to your website here on Wix. If you have not yet already, I would make sure that you go ahead, click on subscribe and the bell so that you get notified when a new video drops here in the series because we're going to be showing you step-by-step -step how to set up and implement the SEO strategies for your site so that you can generate more leads and sales. Okay, so when you are using the Wix SEO Wiz, this is actually included as a really cool feature with Wix platforms and it makes it easy for you to figure out, okay, this is what I have to do. It kind of gives you that little challenge checklist. So the next videos here in the series are going to be dedicated to breaking down the steps and we're going to dive into these short quick little videos where we start implementing um, what we are learning. Now what you're going to want to do is pull up your Wix website dashboard and underneath of the marketing and the SEO tab here. So if you're on the home page you'll go ahead and open up the marketing and the SEO tab and you'll want to get to the SEO, I believe it's the SEO tools tab, um, get found on Google. Let's see here, that should be the right one. So when you're clicking around back here, you can either pull it up from this like pop-up menu right here or you can pull it up here underneath of the get found on Google tab. Now, when you first go to set this up, um, and I think I did this in the last video, but when I was going through and creating my SEO plan, it asked me for the keywords. Now, the keywords that you are going to enter in your checklist are going to be the most relatable and prioritized keywords to what it is that you're doing. Okay, so these are going to be the top three. Now, if you need to edit that, okay, so you can always do that from the get found on Google page and you can just go in here and edit the details. So for example, what you want to type in is you want to type in your business or site name. Now, if you are an individual, this is where you will just put your individual name. If you have a business name or an e-commerce store name or something like that, you would put that in there. Um, for all intents and purposes right now, I don't need to put Sandra Fisher relationship marriage coach or relationship coach because it's actually going to ask me to do that when I go in and update the page information on each page, it's gonna have me add those keywords to that already. So for the site name here, you just wanna make sure that you have your personal name if you're a sole proprietor or an individual, um, or you have you know your business name down. Now, if you are a local business and you have a brick and mortar storefront or you are serving clients locally, this is where you would go ahead and enter your geographical address address or location. And the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to add in the keywords. Now, personally, I recommend a mixture of short and long tail keywords. Okay. If you don't know what long tail keywords are, you can go back and watch the previous video, but essentially that's where it dives just a little bit deeper down into your niche. So my ideal fit, and this is not scientific, this is just something that I prefer and recommend doing, is I like to pick two short tail keywords and then three long tail keywords when I'm doing my own site or my client's site. Personally, I think that's a really good recipe. And again, that's just my personal preference. You can do what works best for you. Or if you are working with someone in the SEO, just go ahead and do what they um, are advising. So for example, if Sandra Fisher here, remember for all intents and purposes, this is me. I'm Sandra Fisher. I'm a relationship coach. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add relationship coach as one of my keywords. And then I also might do, let's see, a relationship podcast. Okay. And then I might do a marriage coach podcast. 
Um, and maybe, you know, th then I can dive a little bit deeper into more of my long tail keywords. So maybe I am Sandra Fisher and I am a relationship coach for divorced women, right? So that's a very, very specific niche or niche however you want to say that, a very specific category. So that's where I would put that in there. Relationship coach for divorced women. Um, okay. So this is where you're going to add your keywords in. Now Wix does have a video here. It, they go into showing you how to pick the right keywords. Once you've done this, you want to go ahead and make sure that you click on the save button again. If you're going through and doing this the, fir the very, very first time, you will see um, the screen will look a little bit different. Okay. Now here's the other thing. <laughs> when you have picked your keywords, it's very important to pick your keywords and leave them for a period of time. So that's really why I want you to do the research first. I have worked with clients who they get jumpy and they think, oh, these keywords aren't working within 30 days or 45 days. And then guess what? They'll go back in and they'll redo all this and try to pick new keywords. No, once you have this, these keywords here set up, I don't want you to touch these keywords for the next four to six months because with how the SEO works is it takes a little bit of time to build. It takes a little time to get out there. Um, I always say, and you've heard me before with this, um, I expect for it to be like six months to, you know, anywhere from four to 12 months with an average of being six months when you're really going to get a feel for how those keywords are performing with your website. Okay. So once that's done, you are just going to go ahead and click on save. And now you have completed one of the first steps, which is adding the keywords to your Wix website. In the next video, I'm going to walk you through how at, to edit the specific pages on your Wix site using the keywords and updating the description and doing that. Um, I would love to hear back from you. If you have any questions, if you're going through and enjoying this series, please let us know down below. If you found this video helpful and you're excited to learn more about all of the SEO things, go ahead, give the video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell so that you get notified when the next video drops in the series. Thanks so much for tuning in today and I will see you in the next video.